Hello friend, this is Anand and in this video I'll be talking about snake bar. So if you want to learn more Flutter, just subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon to get regular updates. So let's start. So uh, uh, let's understand what is a snake bar. So a snake bar basically it's an pop out that comes on the screen whenever there is a you know, some event and it's uh, on the screen for certain duration and then it's uh, pop out after certain duration so let's see the code so uh, we have a stateless widget here inside that is stateless widget we have a scaffold uh, we have an app bar and in the body section we have the container that's containing a column and we have a text now after text I'll be creating adding a one more column to uh, this widget and that will be raised button and that and on that raised button event i'll be showing that uh, uh, that is a snake bar although i'll be showing you like initially it will be showing an error and then i'll be rectifying that error and this snake bar can be shown using uh, like uh, two different method i'll be showing both of the method uh, using the global key other uh, and other ways uh, by using that off method of the scaffold so let's create a raised button here so inside the raised button we have a child uh, let's provide a text oh mm, i have selected color this has to be child and we have one method uh, that is on press and inside the on press i'll be calling um, a method of a scaffold the method is off it will take the context and then we can use so snake bar and here we'll be creating a snake bar widget and inside the snake bar we have few properties let me assign the value to content so content is what it will be displaying in the snake bar so let me this is right snake bar that's fine and other properties are duration so duration i'll be i want like for three seconds it to be there so i'll select seconds and three further we have uh, i'll be using one more uh, property that is background so uh, let me make background as colors dot uh, let's make it purple uh, okay purple lessened that's fine and this is done uh, so uh, let's save it and it will show a button here after cl clicking this button okay this button does not look that beautiful let me give a color to it so yeah colors dot let's make it blue that's fine after uh like when I click this button this will show an error I'll uh, show you the error and then we'll rectify that thing so there is no snake bar as of there is no snake bar as of now and we have an error let's check out what does this error say and it says like no scaffold and sister could be found starting from the context so uh, like uh, uh, the context which we have used is uh of material uh, this uh of uh, material app but there is no scaffold found for this context because uh, this context is inside the uh, scaffold so we need to take out this context out of this widget 
and if you can see that uh, here it also shows that uh, like a more efficient solution is to split your child function into several widgets so i'll be creating a different widget and then calling it and uh, there is also one more method that is a less elegant but more expedient solution to assign a global key so i'll be using this method also to show a scaffold to use how to use a global key to show so a scaffold so let me first show you how we can um, use a widget to show a scaffold so i have taken out this button part here and i'll be creating a stateless widget somewhere outside of that widget so uh, let me uh, i'll be renaming it as button so I had called it here as of now and I'll be creating this button outside this. Okay, instead of returning container, what I'll be re returning is oh, uh, what I have copied from above. I have pasted it here, the raised button. Uh, okay, let me bring it down so let me format it so uh, this is done i think yes we have used this r button here and we have uh, defined this r button outside of the current widget and now if i save it and then hit me so it's it shows a snake bar this is a snake bar so uh, it remains there for three seconds because the duration which we have given is for three seconds so it's uh, it remains there for three seconds so this is how we can use the snake bar uh, let's check out the other way to use a snake bar that is using global key so i have removed this and now if i save it and then hit uh, if i press the button uh, there is no button here as of now because we have removed the button so uh, here i'll create a raised button okay raised button inside the raised button we have so uh, what i'll do i'll copy from the below i'm not going to write it again so uh, let me take hold of this raised button from here and paste it again okay this is done yeah so let me format this document yeah this is done and instead of calling this method of a scaffold what i'll do is i'll create a global key outside uh, like in this class so global key and type of this global key will be scaffold state so uh, this will be So that's fine, and uh, this will be final. Yeah, and now let me assign this scaff key to our scaffold. So here I'll use the key property and I'll be assigning this scaff key. So uh, now we have uh, this scaffold has a key, global key that is a scaff key and here inside this on press event what i'll be doing uh, so let's uh, run as of now and check uh, uh, now if i press this hit button there is no uh, nothing no scaffold or nothing uh, no snake bar or anything else we can see here so what i'll do i'll use this scaffold key uh, scaff key and then we have uh, like uh, three different um, property that is uh, create a current state so we'll use the current state 
dot so a snake bar is the method that we can use and here I'll be creating a snake bar so uh, you know what all to so inside a snake bar so we have content so uh, I, I will do one thing like I'll copy and paste the snake bar item from the below so yes we have content duration and this thing and if I copy paste these three things here so that's all fine let me format the document and now if I reload hot reload it and now if I press the hit button it shows the snake bar so uh, uh, so this is how we use uh, we can use a snake uh, snake bar uh, using two different method so that's all for the video again I would say please subscribe the channel and to get regular update please hit the bell icon thanks thanks all